Hello guys, welcome back to Rootset. In this video, I will be focusing on wireless communication and different types of Wi-Fi antennas and by the end of this video, I will show you how you can increase the range of your Wi-Fi network by simply changing the Wi-Fi antenna without spending money on costly Wi-Fi routers. If you are new to this channel, just to let you know that we will be posting Kali Linux, Wi-Fi, Arduino, Raspberry Pi and other hacking projects and tutorials using latest Wi-Fi adapters and tools every week. So make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button here so that you won't miss the future videos. So let's get started. Wi-Fi is a wireless networking technology that employs RF or radio waves in the range of 2.4 GHz and or 5 GHz to provide ultra fast network communication to various devices such as PCs, mobile phones, printers, etc. Devices in a Wi-Fi network are connected together wirelessly for the purpose of sharing resources and information. Using Wi-Fi, people can communicate with each other across the world at very low cost using services like chat and email. Devices like printers, scanners and other hardware can be shared easily without using any cables hanging around. I have written a long article that explains Wi-Fi standards, security and routers in my blog. So if you want to learn more about this, please feel free to check that. I have provided the link in the description, please go check it out. Next we will talk about the most commonly used Wi-Fi antennas. First one is the dipole antenna. Dipole Wi-Fi antenna is the simplest antenna that can be used for wireless communication. It is also known as half wave dipole antenna because its length is half the wavelength. It consists of two identical metal rods which are separately fed using two different wires or feed lines. These antennas are commonly used for indoor purposes such as Wi-Fi routers, USB Wi-Fi adapters, televisions, etc. Next we have the mini panel antenna. Mini panel antennas are directional antennas that are designed to transmit power in a particular direction. Which means you will have to point this antenna to the place where you want to receive the signal. They are long range low profile antennas that are mostly designed for indoor purposes. These mini panel antennas have a 60 degree spread angle and it can punch through normal walls and the radiations can reach hard to reach area. The panel antenna. Panel antennas are enhanced version of mini panel antennas that can transmit power over a larger distance than mini panel antenna. They are very strong and sleek antennas that are specifically designed for outdoor uses. These antennas are very focused and have a 32 degree spread angle which is less when compared to that of a mini panel antenna but it can travel a long distance with this angle of radiation. You can easily connect this to a Wi-Fi router and point it out through your window or fix it on a pole on the roof of your house to a building where you want to receive this signal at a distance very far away from the source. Cantina. Cantina is one of the most popularly used antenna among hobbyists and pen testers. They are also highly directional and compact antennas which can radiate power at an angle of around 36 degrees. This one, focusing its energy on a narrow beam makes it highly directional but the radiations are so powerful that you can travel more than 3 miles line of sight under ideal conditions. We can connect USB Wi-Fi adapters and Wi-Fi routers with removable antennas directly into this which will significantly improve the range of transmission as well as reception. And finally, we have the parabolic grid antenna. This one is the best long range antenna that can provide point to point link between the source and the receiver. These antennas have an ultra strong gain with very thin beam width which makes it highly directional with a radiating angle between 3 degrees and 12 degrees. These antennas are designed to withstand extreme weather conditions. This is the antenna which I used to make the ultra long Wi-Fi hacking station using Raspberry Pi which I uploaded a few months back. You will find the link in the description. Now let us talk about Wi-Fi signal strength. You might be having the world's best Wi-Fi router but if it is not optimized you will be getting very pathetic results such as poor Wi-Fi range, low speed internet etc. The Wi-Fi router works best only when all the parameters such as Wi-Fi antenna position, Wi-Fi antenna pointing direction, Wi-Fi router position, Wi-Fi security and Wi-Fi antenna orientation is done correctly. And yes, Wi-Fi security does affect the throughput. 
If you want to make use of your Wi-Fi router's full potential and have high speed internet with long signal coverage, do check out this page. Here, I have explained all the parameters in detail and have included tips to increase the Wi-Fi range, speed and troubleshoot your wireless network. Increase Wi-Fi speed and range of your Wi-Fi router using external antenna. Usually, the Wi-Fi router antennas provided by the manufacturers will be having 2 dBi or 3 dBi power gain, which is very low when compared to the currently available antennas on the market. Some of the Wi-Fi routers allow you to change the stock antenna that comes with the router. So, if you have a router that supports removable antennas, you can get a higher gain antenna like a 5 dBi or a 7 dBi that will significantly increase Wi-Fi range. In the next video, I will show you the latest hacks you can do with your Wi-Fi router to increase the Wi-Fi range and get high speed network connectivity. Make sure you don't miss the future videos. Subscribe our channel by clicking the subscribe button here and stay tuned for more videos. Rootset signing off.